A series of missile launches at White Sands Missile Range is demonstrating the capabilities of a prototype air defense system developed by the U.S. Army. The indirect fire protection capability, Increment 2 Intercept, or if is a defense system developed to protect soldiers from cruise missiles and unmanned aerial systems, and in the future, artillery weapons, like cannons, rockets, and mortars. This March and April, the IFPIC program is conducting several launches to test the system's ability to launch various missile types and demonstrate its ability to connect to the new integrated air and missile defense network. Kind of like if you're trying to put together a new stereo system in your house, you're buying speakers from this vendor, a, you know, a turntable or whatever, DVD from another, integrate them together to get the best, best capability you can for the house. And that's basically what we're trying to do here, but with a missile system. To date, the program has launched a Hellfire Longbow and a pair of Sidewinder missiles, as well as conducting a ballistic test of the miniature hit-to-kill missile and an intercept test using the Israeli Tamir missile. In addition to not only working with the system, but how they're working to solve the threat. So we're actually firing the entire kill chain and seeing what the end product looks like as we shoot at unmanned aerial systems and cruise missiles. White Sands Missile Range was the logical choice for this demonstration series. White Sands has supported the FPIC program in previous demonstrations and is able to provide not only the space, but also the targets, telemetry, staff, and infrastructure needed for testing almost any new air defense or counter-cruise missile in UAS system. Of the tests and the test results so we can go back and do real good analysis to say, did we get this right? And, and, and we couldn't ask for a better place than this. So More firings are scheduled at White Sands to continue maturing the launcher's capabilities and compatibility with missile systems.